I did many little things here and there. I did uh, three pilots that went half seasons. Okay. Uh, and then I got a, but ABC didn't want it to let me go. Okay. So until they found me Modern Family. Uh, they knew they had a star. They knew they, that we have something yeah. in this individual. Letting her out of our ecosystem would be foolish. Let's find yeah, and work hard. They to gave find me her. a holding deal until they found Modern Family for me. Oh so shit. I didn't even audition. The, so it was like... How long was the holding deal for? Uh, I think it was like for three years. Get out of here. Yeah. And it was fantastic because, you know, I mean, it was not fun. I mean, it was great because I was getting, you know. Yeah. But I also, I wanted to start working. I wanted to find things. And they were waiting for me to find the, the, the right thing. And it How was many great. things uh, were there things that just weren't working out? Um, a lot of auditions or just things that weren't right to fit over the course of the three years? Oh, like, yeah. How many things did you Not over out? the course of, of three years. Like, I... I moved to LA and I think I hit Modern Family like on the seventh year, so it wasn't that fast. Okay. In those seven years, I did a lot, you know, many auditions that they told me no, mm -hmm. uh, many, you know, movies, little movies here and there, little parts. Uh, but the moment that I did Modern Family was like the first week. That it's, was it. You know what? You know what Modern Family is like. What I compare that to, um, when you talk about the world of investing, right? They have these things that are that are like, uh, you know, lightning lightning bolts in the bottle. Uh, things that they feel will only happen a couple times in a lifetime. Yeah. You think about Uber um, and the success that Uber had in the beginning stages. Well, in television, it's the same. To be a part of an opportunity that grows to be a 10 year uh, yeah. Crazy. show. 11 right? years. 11 years. 11 years yeah. of television. I don't think that's ever gonna happen again now mm -hmm. in television, you know, because people want like Not things now. fast and, you know, they wanna move on so fast. It was like, it was special for you know, us, yeah. I feel like we're in the time of five seasons and yeah. that's it, right? Yeah. Getting past five seasons is tough. I think the world of the 10 seasons was, that was, no pun intended, but when you're talking about family, a show that embraces family, the beauty of that, you're watching a family grow. Yes. And the shows throughout the years that have embraced that, not only they had success, but you felt like you were a part of the lives of the characters. And the characters dealt with a lot of real situations in real time. Modern Family did the same thing. Yes. Steve, Steve Levitin, um, was a producer on that show, phenomenal guy. Um, when you were in season one, two, did you guys know? Did you feel like, holy shit, no, this we, is... We knew from the first episode. When wow. the, I mean, it was like crazy immediately. It was like, I mean, the first award season, we were invited to every award show. We were all nominated. I mean, it was crazy. I never thought I was going to be able to be part of something like that. And, you know, to be... I used to watch Ed O'Neill when I was in Colombia. Insane. Insane. So it was like, I couldn't believe it. And I was married to Ed O'Neill, who was, like, 20 years older than yeah. me. I was like, it never... I'm like, oh, my God. I remember the first time that they told me he was going to be, you know, my husband. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to be stuck with the old guy in the in the set for hours, and it's going to be so boring. And... He was a complete opposite. It was complete opposite. I mean, I'm like, what do we have in common? You know, I'm from Colombia. I mean, we had such a great time, him and, and, and I, on the set every day. It was fantastic. Did you guys, like, before going into it, because like you said, at this point, the network is trying to find something for you. Um, they find Modern Family. It's gonna be you, it's gonna be Ed O'Neill. Uh, before you got to the place of table reads, et cetera, did you have to meet Ed a couple times? No. No. We met at the up. table read. Holy shit. Yeah. And the chemistry kicked it off like was, that. It was immediate. It was immediate. And, you know, I was very worried because my character was, you know, a younger woman, a, a, an immigrant, mm -hmm. and with a kid, and mm -hmm. she, she sounded like completely the gold digger. I mean, I'm like, oh my God. And I told my manager, it's like, they're gonna hate the, her, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But then there was something that I did with the character and that, that Ed helped me do with the character that it worked. And I don't think anyone you ask thought that Gloria was not really in love with, mm -hmm. with uh, Jay. Yeah. So well, it was great. I think that the beauty of what you were able to do was you were able to bring a lot of you you were in Modern Family. Yes, I came yeah. in. I did that. I was. Like, I was. What are you talking about? I was like the first black guy to ever do the show. You always talking yeah. like that about yeah. you. Like you're the first. Everything. I was. Yeah. I was the first black guy to do Modern Family. Okay, and you guys can go look it up. 
I was a neighbor. <laughs> you guys don't even know they had a black neighbor. It was me. Now, granted, I did one episode <laughs> because of my schedule. I couldn't do more. But that episode was very funny. It was very funny. Very, very funny. Um, I mean, I don't know if it was because of you, but it was very funny. Yeah, I, you were really funny. But what? I don't understand why. I mean, really, guys, I've never heard you laugh this hard. Like, really, it's never happened. And all of a sudden, everybody's got an amazing funny bone around here.